So this is it. With uh, Bijaker going on hiatus, I'm guessing that next week there's not going to be a whole lot of reason or call for me to do another video comment. And so this will probably be my last video comment uh, on Bike Jacker for a while. In fact, you know what? Everybody else has gone away. Nobody else is doing video comments. Anthony isn't even asking for them in the show anymore, so maybe I should just take the hint and stop doing video comments on Bike Jacker. Uh, just save Anthony that little bit of editing. Unless Anthony or you, the people watching, scream otherwise, I'll probably just try to remove this from my weekly habit. I've really enjoyed having this outlet, but if you do want to hear me talk about free games um, and recommend free games that maybe you haven't heard of or for you to play or even a place where you could recommend that I play them and then talk about them later subscribe to this channel Mr. Joe Says on YouTube and once a week assuming I get subscribers if nobody subscribes I'll take the hint and just shut up and go away but if I get a number of subscribers on this channel, I will go ahead and once a week make a little video talking about games that I'm playing, suggest games for you to play. You guys can suggest games that I play, and we'll talk about it one game a week. I can't promise the uh, the video quality of Bite Jacker. I can't promise the editing. I can't promise the writing. But I can promise a game for you to play every week and for us to talk about. But for now, we've got some free indies to talk about on Bite Jacker. Happy Sumo was, or Hungry Sumo, sorry. Hungry Sumo was a game that the moment I played it, I said, I've seen this mechanic before. Somebody else has done this. And the game is called Hundreds. And sure enough, it's the same idea. you got to hold your mouse over and move it away before it touches another bubble. Except, when I went back and played Hundreds, and Hundreds is a lot of fun. I'll link to it in the description. But when I went back and played Hundreds, I realized that Hungry Sumo did a good job of taking this mechanic and making it their own. And that's really what it's about when you're making a game, is not to copy somebody else's idea, but to build on it and make it your own. If, if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't have had the side-scrolling platform genre. We wouldn't have had the first-person genre. And so it's good that they did this, and they did it well. And so, yeah, okay, Hungry Sumo, good game. I didn't think so at first, but I changed my mind. Reimagine the game was very cool, very gimmicky, but very cool. I like how every level was a new mechanic that they threw in that you had to play with. I really enjoyed the Lost level where you change the smoke and then change back to a human and then change the smoke. I enjoyed being smoke and then changing to human to fling my human through a barrier and then changing back to smoke on the other side. It was really cool and very fun. Gimmicky though, but I like, it, it had a breadth that you don't see in a lot of games. Unfortunately that breadth meant that the base mechanic of running and jumping was sometimes strangely broken and it made a full enjoyment of the game kind of difficult, but it's actually very minimal considering the breadth of the game. It was enjoyable. ZOMT, however, is getting my vote just because of the innovation involved. Um, it wasn't, it, you know, it was a beautiful looking game, and it didn't have the breadth of Reimagine, but it, it, it didn't feel like a tower defense to me. I, I know, supposedly it is, they say so, everybody else says so. It felt more to me like a real-time strategy done in 2D, where, you know, the movement of your troops is just you that way, you that way, and it's all about the micromanagement of, of gathering resources and managing your troops, and I really enjoyed that. And, and for that innovation... I'm I'm definitely giving it to ZOMT because I tend to lean towards innovation, but it was really close. I, for a while, I wanted to vote for Reimagine, and my guess is that one will be the winner this week. But ZOMT is getting my vote just for doing something I've never seen before and really making me rethink things. Uh, I, I kind of wish there was a mini-map at the bottom so I could see where my troops were in relation to his troops and things like that. I think it still has some possibility for future development. Yeah, that's my vote this week. As I'm wrapping up, let me again say thank you, Bite Jacker, for giving me an outlet to talk about games. Uh, I've really enjoyed that. If you want to hear more about me talking about games in the future, you're going to have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we'll talk about games there, filling the gap between while Bite Jacker is gone and maybe beyond that.
I'll see you guys around. Thank you, Anthony, for making such a wonderful show. Take a breather, man. You deserve it. <laughs>